is it going? Let me get this a little bit closer. Hello, Aim. What is up? Hello, Spiky. Hello, Thick Thanos. Hello, Elijah. Memes. Bloodshot. How are you all doing? I haven't done a YouTube stream in a while, so I'm excited to do one today. I want to talk about Animal Crossing some and just hang out with you guys. And yeah, I do a lot of Twitch streams and I know not everyone has Twitch, so I thought it'd be good to do something on YouTube since I don't usually do YouTube streams. I'm also going to be eating this very nice looking mango while I stream because I cut it right beforehand, which is why I was a little bit late. Hey Micah, what's up? Hey LT Snakehead, how's it going? Um, so yes, I just went to PAX East. It was super amazing. I've got some super awesome stories from PAX East. I have a lot of new information about Animal Crossing and I'm just excited for it to come out in less than 20 days. So we're just doing our little countdown. I'm gonna do something every single day on my channel for Animal Crossing. So this is countdown starting on day 18. It is 18 days till the 20th, right? Yeah, 18 days. What are you eating that's so loud? You're chewing it? Okay. Someone's over there chewing on a lollipop for some reason. But what is up? I can't make it to Twitch streams. Oh, Aim, that makes me so sad. BRB, okie dokie. So, yeah, guys, I'm super excited for Animal Crossing. I have a little list of things to talk about, about the demo and things that we have learned and found out. What games were revealed? There weren't really any new games revealed at PAX, but oh, there is this game that I'm really excited for. Can you bring me my Chikori um, thing right next to you? Chikori, how does, no, the ch this is, this is my, this is my Animal Crossing little like, fuchsia. Yeah, don't throw it, can you just bring it to me? I love chewing lollipops, really? Oh my goodness, I can't chew lollipops, Why my teeth aren't strong enough. It, that's the same thing. This game, this is a new indie game that is coming out. I got to play it at PAX. I got to play it the last PAX I went to also. The demo was a little bit longer this time. It's a super awesome, super cute game that I think you guys are really gonna like it, especially if you like Animal Crossing. It's pretty much like, almost like a old school Zelda game where you solve puzzles, but you're a doggy with a paintbrush and the entire world looks like a coloring book that hasn't been colored yet. And so you've got to take your little coloring paintbrush, color everything in, solve the puzzles, Super cute. How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing today? Um, ASMR, like Animal Crossing ASMR, I'd be down for that. Or do you mean like eating mangoes ASMR? I could probably also do that. Let me get like a good piece of mango here. Uh, I don't wanna like bite it, I wanna rip it off. Ew, that was loud. I guess that's what ASMR is supposed to be, yes. ASMR. This is not a soft mango. It's a very hard mango. But I'm really excited for that game. I love that game. I'm trying to get a stream key for it right now, so I should get the stream key soon. And I can play it on, like, a stream or make a video of it for you guys. Hmm. That's so good. But now on to the new Animal Crossing stuff. Fauna and Peanut, good choices. Thank you! I have my little Fauna, little stuffed animal here, too, as well. Fauna's one of my favorite villagers. I love Fauna, and I love Apple. And obviously Peanut and oh my goodness, there's so many I love. Okay, Carrie, just sick. Oh my goodness, still stupid coronavirus. Right, you're sick with the coronavirus. That's not good. Oh my goodness. I think that like young people are okay if they get the coronavirus, so you can like fight it off pretty well. Animal Crossing that takes me back. I know Animal Crossing is so great. My first Animal Crossing game was. Wild World, and then I had City Folk, and then I had New Leaf, and New Leaf has been out for the longest. But we got a lot of new information in PAX, so one of the first things I noticed when I played the demo is that there's a new horse villager, and her name is Renee, which is super, super awesome, because obviously, like, that's a pun. Get it? Like, horses, they're like, nay, Renee, ha ha, you're so punny, and she seems like a cool new villager. Yeah. I'm not serious, I just have the common cold. Oh my goodness, good. If you had the coronavirus, I'd be so worried for you. Bloodshot, you're now the people at school. Is Wait, Bloodshot, are you Bloodbox from Twitch? Or are you a different person? Hey, Eclipsa, how are you doing? How is it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you like Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is the best. It's super awesome. 
My first was New Leaf. Really? Oh my goodness. New Leaf is so great. I love New Leaf. That's definitely my favorite Animal Crossing. You can do so much more in New Leaf. And in New Horizons, you can do way more than you could in New Leaf. They're doing a lot. Whoa, so funny. I know, Caveman. How's it going, Dan? You didn't text me back today. You're you're big stupid. Don't, why you gotta be mean to your friends like that? Actually, you did text me back and that was yesterday. Never mind. Ignore what I said. You sent me like an article and I didn't want to read it. <laughs> But the next new thing that I saw is that there's a drop off box, drop off, drop off box outside of Nook's Cranny now, which means if you want to sell some items in New Horizons, you don't have to wait for it to be open. You can just go drop off your items even if they're closed, and they will mail you the bales, which is pretty awesome. I like that. I think it's a really good new feature. Hey, it's Caveman Films. Oh my gosh, it is Caveman Films. Dan, what are you doing? What is up? My first one is going to be New Horizons. Oh my gosh, that's such a good one to start with, honestly. And for it to be your first Animal Crossing game, oh my goodness, you're absolutely going to love it. When I first started playing Animal Crossing, I was very confused by the game in general because I was like, what's what's the point of this game? Like, how do you win? But you really don't win Animal Crossing. Look at the picture I sent you on stream, okay? You sent me a picture? I thought you sent me an article to read. Oh! What? What? What is this? Okay, guys, this is what Dan sent me. I I don't know. I don't. Is that like a whole canned chicken? That's nasty. Oh my lord. Are you gonna let any of their fans visit your island someday? Yes, of course! One of the awesome things we learned during Direct is that you can get a little code to send out for people to visit your island with. So I'm actually going to be doing a lot of live streams where I have my code opened and I'll let eight fans at a time come over to my island and we can all hang out and we can take turns being like the little leader and doing stuff and yeah, so I'm definitely gonna let a lot of fans come over and play my island. I wanna visit you guys' islands as well. I'd love to visit other people's islands while streaming and off stream and everything. I think it'd be super fun. I might make some videos like visiting fans islands too if you guys have like a super nifty island, you know, and need some recognition. Chicken in a can, why is there canned chicken? Why? Sergeant Willie, how's it going? How was your day? Mine is good. What the crap, I know, that was a really weird part for you to come into the stream on. That's what Caveman sent me. For some reason, I don't know why, I don't know what his problem is. Dan, do you cut your, um? mangoes like this I think this is a cool way to cut the mango I'm struggling to eat it now though you and Dan you and Dan look like the people from Animal Crossing we look like villagers really oh my goodness hello Charlotte how is it going oh my gosh everyone that came in while I was showing you guys what Dan sent me I am so sorry that is not usually what my streams are about oh yeah oh is right well better start saving my money to get the game yes the game is so good it's the best. I'm trying to get another piece of mango. I'm trying to just bake, break off the mango part, but I keep breaking it off with the skin, and that's not helpful at all. Dude, what's up? Oh my goodness, Soul Snack, thank you so much. Welcome to the fairy fam. I'm glad to have you here. I guess, I don't think my alerts are going off, because someone said they just subbed to me, and I didn't get an alert. Oh, yeah, my bad. The alerts off the wrong day, because they were on a different Hmm? Off the update, the alerts. Oh no, your alerts are on the other screen, they're not on that screen. What? Go on Streamlabs and move your add your alerts. It's too late. If you guys do something, just let me know. Wait, you just open up your Is it bad that I've never played Animal Crossing? Oh my goodness, you've never played Animal Crossing? Are you serious? That's not bad at all. Animal Crossing is an awesome game. You can get the um free Animal Crossing game, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for your phone. It's nowhere near as good as the actual game though at all. It's kind of like, I don't know, like, I didn't like it that much, and I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. Like, I played it enough. I put money into it, but that's about it. I, like, walked away from, not walked away, but I'm trying to fix my alerts, so. There we go. Oh my goodness, his sisters always yell at me while I'm streaming. She's busy! She's busy! Yeah, what do you need? I think. Yes. Oh, the alerts are still for Twitch. The alerts are the alerts are still on Twitch. I just saw signed into Streamlabs. Oof! He ignored me. It's no, my alert. You're, the alert. You're you don't know what I'm saying right now. I don't think. 
All right, guys, I'm going to catch up on chat now. I'm sorry. I tried to fix my alerts and I lost them. It's my alerts are set up for Twitch. It's not set up for um, YouTube. But yes, if you guys. Yes, they are. It literally says Twitch. Log into YouTube. This, I, it's a lot to do while you're live. I'm it really a, isn't. I'm a child. Okay, guys, catching up on chat now. Caveman, can I meet your cousin, Batman? He has a cousin named Batman. Oh my gosh, Dan, why didn't you let me meet your cousin? But yes, thank you so much for subbing, Soul Snack. I appreciate it so much. I'm sorry my alerts are broken. If anyone does anything, just let me know. Um, is it bad that I never played Animal Crossing? Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for the $5 donation, Kiro Dev. I appreciate that so much. Shout out to Biscuit and Bob. <gasps> Bob is one of my favorite villagers. He is precious. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I actually found some really cute fan art of Bob. Guys, I'm trying to learn how to draw just so I can do Animal Crossing fan art. I feel like it might be a little late in my life to learn how to draw, but I'm doing my best. I bought an Apple Pencil today. Found out that it doesn't work on my iPad because my iPad's like fifth fourth generation it's fourth generation you need fifth but thank you so much kiro deb i appreciate your donation so much you were awesome i just heard like i just heard the alert sound i wish my alerts worked better than this i'm not batman yes dan we know you're not batman your cousin is batman yeah the fairy fam that's everyone that subscribed you're part of the fairy fam you're part of the great fairy family appreciate you all so much you all are super super awesome Yes. Hey, little Jonathan Minecraft. How are you? How is it going? Hope you're having a great day. Hope you like Animal Crossing as well because Animal Crossing is pretty nifty. I think I've been saying something in every one of your videos. Yes, my guy. I always see you commenting on my videos and I appreciate it so much. Hey, is that your boyfriend back there? Oh, yeah. Come say hi to everyone. I don't think my YouTube's really met you that much. Sama? Sama? Say hi to everyone. This is Sama. He's a, he's a nifty fellow. Why, hello there. That's How's his, everyone doing? That's his YouTube plaque back there. I'm not cool enough to have one. No, that's hers. I swear. He owns it. Turn your face that way. Shout out to Brisket. Okay, it's good out now. <laughs> Goodbye. Hero Dev with the five dollars. Yes, guys, I have been so behind on chat from when I went over to try to fix my alerts and failed. <laughs> but yes, what's up, Mina Random? How is it going? Witch bitch, hi. How are you? Thanks for seeing Queen. Um, it's the ma says Canary. I feel like I'm gonna throw hands because that breaks my OCD. I hate it when he does that. The worst part about him calling me Great Fairy Canary is that when we first like met each other and everything. Um, he said that so much. He like texted that to me so much saying great fairy canary that whenever I tried to tell someone like what my name was I'd be like, oh, I'll, like I make videos. It's great fairy carry my phone would auto correct it to great fairy canary and I'd be like All right, <laughs> it was terrible peace peace. Are you leaving do not leave caveman come back caveman Come back Oh yeah, damn YouTube. YouTube's the worst. You're gonna keep saying things in my videos? Thank you so much! Yes. Hello, Red Scout. Um. Anyways. Oh, is that Gary Boy? Hey, what's up? Alrighty, guys. Moving on my list. I'm not good at sticking to my list. The next thing that I found out that is going to be new in Animal Crossing New Horizons is that you can now have face paint on your villagers, which is awesome. Not like the animal villagers, so like not like that villager, but the villager that's like you. You can make little face paint and put face paint on it, which is awesome. And you can design it yourself just like you could design the tiles in New Leaf, which means that everybody can look however they want. How's your day? My day has been awesome. How has your day been? I'm gonna play Fortnite, but I'm still here. Yay! I think I'm gonna do a Fortnite stream maybe tomorrow on my Twitch. But I haven't done a Fortnite stream in a really long time. Guys, I'm going to keep trying to figure out how to get the correct alerts because I messed up. Oh my goodness. I think I messed up. There's literally six different YouTube accounts logged in this computer. It is confusing. Okay. Is this right? Is it alert bugs? No. 
Oh wait, Smog, can you fix this? I need to see the new subscribers and everything. Hold on, right there. Right there. Oh, thank you. Oh yes, now I see all the new subs. Awesome, perfect. Crazy Panda, also thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Guys, everything's working now. I'm so happy. That has been a struggle. I've never played, but I have heard it's relaxing and I need a game like that. Yes, I love relaxing games so much. I didn't like start off with relaxing games though. My first game was Halo 2. Like it's the first game I ever played when I was like four years old and I loved Halo 2 so much. It's still like to this day, it's like my favorite game just cause it was my first game. And then I played like Call of Duty games and then I got the little pink DS Lite and I got like Nintendo Dogs and Mario games. And then I had like a GameCube and I played like Wind Waker and Mario Party. And so I started out with more like hardcore games and then I was like, ooh, these other like more calming girly games are very nice as well. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Oh, nice, that game is awesome. I'll be waiting because your boy has been bored, I feel. I don't have Twitch, so I won't be there. No, you guys should, if you don't have Twitch, you guys should really think about making one. It's free to make one. It's like as easy to make as like a YouTube account. So it's like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You don't need it, you want a game like that. Yes, other like really good relaxing games is like, I tried to get into Stardew Valley, but I just couldn't. Like I didn't really like that game that much. I don't know why I couldn't get into it for some reason. I just couldn't, like I like The Sims. I just couldn't. I love Halo, sadly PlayStation doesn't have that though. I know, you can only get it on Xbox, but they just released some Halo games, I think on Steam. Didn't they just release Halo games on Steam? Yeah? No. Uh, they might have just released Halo games on Steam. I'm pretty sure they just released them on Steam. I'm like really new to con or PC gaming. I've done console gaming my entire life. And then last month, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sell my PlayStation and I am going to get a gaming PC. And now I only have a gaming PC and my Switch. So I guess it's a console. But yeah. Yeah, Animal Crossing really is affordable therapy. It is so awesome. Like. When, that got me through middle school, honestly. Animal Crossing did. I, Animal Crossing is so great. It's You can put so many hours into Animal Crossing as well. Like, that game never ends if you don't want it to. I think I have close to a 1,000 hours in my New Leaf Town, and I probably have, like, 600 in my um, City Folk Town. So I definitely, like, got my good out of the game for sure. It's like I paid literally, like, 3 cents per hour I put into the game, which is really good. Like, you pay $60 for, like, Yoshi's... Wooly World and it's like an eight hour gameplay. So you're playing like 11, $12 per hour of gameplay. Actually, no, you pay like $8 per hour of gameplay. I'm not here to do math. I'm really not. <laughs> Yo, same, but it was the first Halo. My first memory is fighting grunts. What, seriously, Halo was your first game? That's awesome. What is your favorite Call of Duty game? My favorite Call of Duty game is Black Ops 2 because Nothing's better than like getting off school, heading over, getting on Black Ops 2, playing some zombies, or playing like hijack. Black Ops 2 is so good. And now I have Rust in Modern Warfare, which has nothing to do with Black Ops 2, but still like I'm glad that we have that old school map. So yeah, I love Call of Duty a lot. I actually made a lot of Call of Duty videos for a while, but it's just, I don't know. Like I think Animal Crossing Nintendo videos are more like my style for content. Those are the videos that I prefer making because that's like what I spend most of my time doing like I'll definitely put some good hours into like Call of Duty games and first person shooters but at the end of the day I'm putting more hours into like Animal Crossing and Zelda games I mean my, my name's Great Fairy Carrie for a reason like I really like Nintendo so yeah the first Black Ops is yours BO1 is also Samaa's favorite um Call of Duty game he loves BO1 so much what's your favorite map on BO1 um Summit or Nuketown. He said Summit or Nuketown's his favorite. I mean, all the all the maps they made are already on the oh. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but now he's talking about BO1. <laughs> Carrie, have you played Bioshock? That's one of my favorites as well. I've actually never played Bioshock. How my taste in games goes is like if my dad had that game, I love that game. And if my dad bought me that game, then I love the game. But like I never until I was like 16, I didn't like pick out games myself. I just played like what was around the house or what was like given to me by my dad. Cause there was no need for me to really like 
go like look for a game elsewhere because we have tons of games in the house. So like all of my favorite games are like games that are from my dad. Like um, all the Zelda games. My dad used to give me Zelda games. Um, Burnout 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. That was one of my dad's games. It's like the best racing game you will ever play. Like it's way better than um, Need for Speed or anything else you can think of. I'm not going to lie, I've seen gameplay of Animal Crossing that doesn't seem like I would play it, but I'd rather try it. And if and when we make videos, I'll watch them. Oh, thank you so much! But honestly, I think you'd really enjoy it. I, I know that like if you just look at a video, it may not seem like the most exciting game. But if you actually get into it, it's really, really fun. I know, like when I sit down and I think about it, I'm like, wow. I enjoy a video game where I water flowers and I like take trees and I catch fish which like I don't I'm not a gardener I don't I've never gone fishing before like I don't I'm not someone that enjoys doing that in my day-to-day -day life but in Animal Crossing is totally different greetings from Germany oh my goodness hello Marvin how are you thanks for coming to my stream all the way from Germany hope you're having an awesome day I'm a Sony kid my first system was an original PlayStation oh that's awesome Zach what games did you have for it my first system was the original Xbox and that is like one of the best systems in my opinion. I had like Pac-Man World 2, that game was awesome. I need to play Bioshock, my dad played it and other games like that. I feel like I should definitely try that game. I've heard a lot of people talk about it and it seems like a really awesome game. Okay, what is the first system you played? My first play Nintendo Genesis. Yeah, my first was, um, like I said, the original Xbox or um, the Sega Game Gear. It was like this huge, handheld system that ran off of batteries and we had two games for it we had i think it was like sonic 2 and then we had a beavis and butthead game but my mom wouldn't let me play the beavis and butthead game because she said that it was inappropriate so i could only play sonic and i was like three or four and i could not get i remember i could never get past the first level ever i remember one time i got to the boss and i lost it was i was terrible with that but the thing was like huge you had to hold it like this and like, I had tiny hands, so it was just a huge catastrophe. Huge Zelda fan here, too. Yes! Oh my gosh, Carol Dove! Yes, Zelda is where it at. What is your favorite Zelda game? I hope you got to play the Link's Awakening remake. Yes, that's actually what's in my Switch right now. I played that in my hotel at PAX East because instead of going out and hanging out with people, I stay in my room when I play my Switch like a lame -o. That's why I'm like, I'd rather try it than say no. See, like, it's it's really crazy. Like, if I wasn't given that game, I probably never would have picked it up. But Animal Crossing is such a good game. Well, I gotta go see it. See ya, Snakehead. Thank you so much for coming by the stream. I really appreciate you. Yeah, my dad collected a lot of systems. Really? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I got a lot of the remakes of the older system. Like, the little, like, NES Classic. I have that. Um, my favorite is the new uh, Modern Warfare and Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 was good. I didn't like the multiplayer in Black Ops 3, but I liked the zombies on it, if that makes sense. I didn't like that you could jump so high. That was just weird to me. I grew up playing PlayStation from 1 to 4. Oh, that's awesome. I love it when people start gaming young. You should try Tabs. What is Tabs? That sounds pretty cool, though. I'd be down. Oh, talking about Sonic, did you watch the new movie? No, I haven't seen the new movie yet. Do you want to watch the new Sonic movie? I don't know. I think we're going to watch it soon. You're good at Sonic games? Oh, nice. I have the new Sonic for the um the Switch. It's like the collection of games, I think. Oh, I just played Outer Worlds and the one that reminds me of Fallout, and it's really good so far. I love Fallout games, so I haven't played Outer Worlds. How about you? I'm good, Marvin. Uh, what have you been up to today? Hopefully uh, some fun stuff. Crash Spyro. Spyro's really good. There's some really difficult side quests on Spyro, though. Wily Coyote, Crash Cart. Crash Car is really awesome too. You have good taste in games, I can tell. I love Zelda the Minish Cap. I think that's how you spell it. <gasps> yes, Minish Cap is awesome. Um, if you guys know of my little doggy named Steve, um, I was originally gonna name him um as Lowell after the hat in Minish Cap, but instead I named him Steve because that felt more magical and fitting for him. <laughs> Ocarina of Time is probably my favorite. Ocarina of Time is my favorite Zelda game. I, oh my gosh, I love Ocarina of Time. It's also the first game I ever beat, and I was so proud. NASCAR? Oh, you mean the NASCAR games? That's nice. I heard the new Sonic movie was awesome. The original trailer for it was terrifying, though. Like, when I saw the original trailer, I was like, oh my gosh, I will never see that. But the trailer is closer to release. They changed how Sonic looked. It looked a little bit better. I was more down for it. Tabs is the goofiest combat game I have ever played. Oh, really? That sounds really fun. 
Wait, I might be going to the movies on the 14th. Really? Oh, that's awesome. I'm jealous. Hey, shooting star. What is up? How are you? Hopefully you like Animal Crossing. Um, the main reason I watched the Sonic movie was because of Jim Carrey. That's basically it. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta go. Bye. Bye, Micah. Have a great day. Hey, Job. 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 Whichever it is. Hey, Job. How's it going? How is your day? Oh, yes. So more of the fun Animal Crossing things I have learned is that, oh, with, okay, we all know how amazing the museum looks now. It's super awesome. Beautiful. I cannot wait. It's probably one of my favorite parts. But the museum, when you first start on your island, Blathers is in a tent. And you have to donate 15 things to him in order to get the actual museum. Which I actually think is really good. Because when you start Animal Crossing, you have this, you know, the town. And then you have this huge museum. And you go to the museum and it's completely empty. Like there's nothing there. And you're like, huh. Okay. Like why, why is there not a single item in here? So at least now when you get this huge museum building, you have at least like, you know, like 15 things in it. So it isn't like a waste of space or completely empty so i thought that was a really cool new feature that they're adding in and also you get to see blathers in a tent you're not the only one that starts in a tent now which is pretty awesome the old sonic trailer gave me nightmares same it was terrifying it sounds like joe but it's spelled job Oh, okay, awesome. Like in um, Arrested Development, Job. I gotcha. I don't know if you've seen that TV show before. It's really, really funny. I really like Arrested Development. I'm gonna go for a bit. Maybe you will still be live if not have an amazing night. An amazing rest of your thing. Thank you so much, Bloodshot. I appreciate it so much. But call me Sponge15. It sounds like Sponge15. <laughs> Okie dokie, I got you. Alrighty guys, more new fun stuff that they're introducing is that you know the little holes that you dig in the ground in Animal Crossing and you know just have holes everywhere and I think you only fall into the pitfall seeds but anyways there's holes, you can't walk over them. Now you can jump over the holes which is really good if you're playing with a bunch of people because if someone decides to be a little butt nugget and like dig holes around you to trap you somewhere you can just hop over them. BRB gotta eat a snack. Ooh I'm jealous, what are you gonna eat? And tab stands for totally as for a battle simulator. I don't know how to spell this. You know what? I think I've heard of that. Is that by like Game Grumps? I think I might have seen that. If I don't get the Animal Crossing game, I can't wait for your game to play. Oh, thank you so much, Sick Thanos. I hope that you can get it because I'd really love to see what your island looks like. But I'm really excited. I'm going to do a lot of fun stuff once the game comes out. You love Animal Crossing? Yes, Job. I'm so proud of you. Animal Crossing is the best. I have my little, my little fauna here just chilling, hanging out. This is my favorite. This is like $20 and it's really tiny, but it was totally worth it. I've had this for years. Oh. Landfall? Landfall? Oh, is that who makes it? Landfall? Oh, I don't know if you guys saw my video of the actual demo itself and where people who were playing the demo that I was recording, there'd be these shiny spots in the ground and they just walk by and I'd be like, oh, Dig up the shiny spots. It is exactly what I originally thought it was. And I'm very excited. The shiny spots are the shiny money spots. So if you see a shiny spot on your island, you dig. You dig out a big old bell bag and you get lots of bells, which is awesome. I'm really glad they brought that back. They had that in some of the older Animal Crossing games, so they didn't have it in New Leaf. And I think that's something that is really good to bring back because it's super cool. Sadly though, the balls on the island are just kind of there. You can't really interact with them. I know on the GameCube Animal Crossing, you were able to like actually play soccer and hit them around. I'm sad that you're not able to do that now. They're just kind of like chilling there. I played Animal Crossing before, but not enough. It was a long time ago. Oh, which one did you play, Willie? And another new thing is, ooh, you can change the camera angle now. If you push down on the analog stick, it actually takes the camera angle from being more like this to like this. So you can like see down like an old school view. I miss those shiny spots from back in the day GameCube. I know, I'm so happy they have them back. I'm still like really sad that they didn't let you interact with the balls because even in my original Animal Crossing video, which I made an Animal Crossing video probably like six or seven months ago when I was talking about the things that I want to see in New Horizons. And one of the first things I was like, oh, Please bring back the balls. Please let us play with them. It was so fun to kick them around and see the villagers kicking them, but... Sadly, they, 
they didn't bring that back, but they did bring in a ton of new features that are super, super neat and I'm very excited for. I got to meet an actual Nintendo employee when I was hanging out at the booth and I got to talk to him and ask him some questions and some of the things were super exciting. One of the things I asked him is that um, in the direct, you see Celeste just like hanging out in the town and you talk to her and I'm like, huh, shouldn't she be in the museum? So I asked the guy, I was like, well, are the special characters, not just the villagers, going to be walking around the island when they're not like at work or at their job? And he was like, yeah. So that's exciting. I'm glad that they're not just completely stuck inside their store and they can actually walk around and be part of the actual island and hang out and do stuff, which is really cool. I mean, imagine like doing the fish tournament and you're like, oh, yay, I'm going to win. Psych, Tom Nook won. <laughs> like, what? Who knew? Who knew Tom Nook could fish? I don't know which one I played and I didn't know there were multiple Animal Crossing. Oh really? What system did you play on? There's usually like one per system. The um, original one was on the GameCube. And then there's one for the original DS. That one's Wild World. And there's one for the Wii. That's City Folk. And then there's one for the 3DS. That's New Leaf, which is the newest one. And New Horizons will be out here in a few days. But um... My favorite one is New Leaf, and it's really awesome. I also really like City Folk a lot. I think it's really cool. And there's also a Mule Festival, which is not really an Animal Crossing game. And there's Happy Home Designer, which is also not really an Animal Crossing game. And then there's Pocket Camp, which is for your phone, and that's also not really an Animal Crossing game. So there's your history of Animal Crossing abridged. <laughs> How long have you been playing Animal Crossing? I've been playing Animal Crossing since I was about six or seven. I had Wild World on the original DS. That was the first one I played. And then I had um, City Folk for the Wii, and I put a lot of hours into that. I didn't think Wild World was that great. I wasn't a huge fan of Wild World, but City Folk I loved, and New Leaf I love. Maybe they'll give us some different interactable balls and furniture items. Oh, if they're not furniture items and you can interact with them, that's actually really smart. Hopefully they'll do that. I would love that. Don't forget the Japanese one for the N64 before GameCube. Oh, true, true, true. Um, that one was Animal That was Animal Village, right? I think that one was called Animal Village. Yes, I, I obviously didn't get a chance to play that one, but that one's pretty awesome. I love the GameCube one because the villagers were actually, like, very rude to you if they were, like, the rude, this, like, grumpy type personality and if you didn't play the game for a while they'd actually be like extremely butthurt about it and they'd be like wow look at who's back <laughs> but yeah the villagers are just too nice like I'm glad that like the majority of villagers are nice but the ones that are supposed to be like grumpy I wish they'd be just a little bit more grumpy and Rossetti used to yell at you so much animal forest that's what it was thank you so much but yes Rossetti used to be a lot meaner to you on the GameCube I saw a post and someone said that they didn't play for like a few months and so Rossetti made them like type out like stuff that was mean and I was like dang that's intense. I played the one with bees. A lot of them have bees. Bees are the worst guys. When I knock down a tree and the bees are coming at me I just do a mad dash to try to get in any building I can possibly get into or go across like the train tracks just to like load a new scene so the bees get off of me and sometimes I'm too stingy with my bells and I'm like mm -mm, no I'm I'm not going to get medicine I'm just gonna walk around like that and have the only thing anyone says to me is oh no look at your face yeah dude I watched a vid the other day of rude villagers they were way meaner than I were yes it's so crazy in my um my original Animal Crossing video from months ago when I talked about what I wanted to see in the new game I got some clips from this one guy's video of the villagers being mean and I was like oh, that's so crazy because I never got to play the one on the GameCube I just got to play the one that was um Wild World and then so I played all of them except the one on the GameCube but I've seen a lot of footage of people playing the GameCube one it looks really awesome and it's so crazy how different the animals interact with you I didn't play Animal Crossing for years really no you're missing out I have my new leaf town here and my new leaf town is like I put so much effort and so many hours into it and I don't have a capture card though. I really wanted to do a video about my new leaf town like this week and I just I can't if you guys want to see my new leaf town though uh, There is a video of it on caveman films channel. It's this video about like uh, Exploring in an abandoned animal crossing town 
So I let him borrow my copy of Animal Crossing and he was like, oh yeah, like I have this copy of Animal Crossing, it's not mine. It was abandoned and he like explored the town and everything. But he took off my perfect town ordinance and I had spent like three straight days. So I put down all of my paths and they were beautiful. And I spent like three straight days lining my paths with white and pink roses. And then I had like a line of red roses as well. And all of my flowers died when he turned off my beautiful town ordinance. And it's just too many to redo. I was so sad. Animal Crossing is legendary. Do you agree? Yes, 100%. Animal Crossing is so great. Would you prefer a lot of rivers in your town, New Horizon, or do you prefer to have a dry island? I honestly, like, I don't want a lot of rivers. I think just one river going through, a small river, and then having some ponds. I really want to make a heart-shaped pond on my island. That's going to make me really happy. I know that there's some, like, preset islands that already have uh, the little heart-shaped ones, but I want one, like, right next to my house. That would be cool. Michelle, hi, how are you? How is your day? I hope it's great. I also hope that you love Animal Crossing because this is a good place to like Animal Crossing. I'm going to stay for maybe five more minutes and then I have to go to bed. Okie dokie, Willie. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're able to hang out for a little bit. Please, why is everyone E-L-H? E-L-H? Oh, yeah, some more things I learned while I was hanging out at the Nintendo booth at PAX is while I was talking to that employee I was like so we've already seen like five or six new villagers are we gonna see more than, than that when we actually get the game or is that about all the new ones for New Horizons and he just laughed which like gives me a lot of hope because I'm like oh if he laughed then that means it's like a ridiculous question and there's of course there's a lot more villagers so I think that there's a lot more for us to see and I asked them I was like we're getting a lot of information are we seeing like the majority of the game or st there's still not a lot that we have seen yet and he was like oh my goodness you haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg which is extremely exciting because whoa just the tip of the iceberg we've already seen so much why is everyone I'm sick ignoring me what I'm sorry you're sick I hope you feel better Michelle and quit calling me Willie. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sergeant. Is Sergeant better? I'll call you Sergeant from now on. Another new thing that we're getting is... Ooh, the vanity. If you guys saw my video about the demo for Animal Crossing, you saw that if there's a vanity sitting outside. And if you go up to the vanity, you can change a lot of different stuff. You can change your skin tone. You can change your hair. And you can pretty much change your whole appearance. So there's no really need to go to Shampoodle and take a whole big questionnaire to figure out what you look like. You can actually customize yourself however you would like to get your character exactly how you would like. Did you get to see any grass shapes besides the triangles and every piece of footage so far on YouTube, which has been triangles, I wonder if they're still randomizing or changeable. So with the grass shapes, so far I've just seen the triangles, but in the, um, in the direct, we did get to see how it moves and everything, which makes it seem like everything's a lot more lifelike, I guess. And it has been previously instead of just the super duper cartoony look. So I, I think that we're going to see some other shapes for it. Sergeant's better. You got it, Sergeant. You pressed the echo button. Did I? Oh, JK. Okay, good. I've pressed the echo button so many times before while I was streaming. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And it, it's the worst when someone's like, oh, you're echoing. And I'm like, oh, oh, the past hour and a half, everyone's just heard echoes. You have the start of the flu. No, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. I hope you start feeling better. You need to get some emergency. Emergency is really good. And elderberries? Elderberries are great. So Ma and I took little like elderberry capsules when we went to PAX. And PAX is like where they make the flu. Like that, that is an icky place. There's so many people. Everyone's like jammed together like sardines. And it's just, oh, you can just, he said people get sick every single year. And we did not get sick this year because we had our elderberries. So yeah, pro tip there, take elderberries. Oh, another new thing for New Horizons is that you learn a most now from villagers, which is interesting. So when you talk to a villager, if they show like a new sign of emotion or anything, then you can learn that. And that kind of means Dr. Shunk isn't really needed, which makes me sad because I like Dr. Shunk. He's a funny guy. 
And I like going to his little shows and hearing his little stand-up routines. It made me happy. You've had him there goes, yeah, like elderberries. I don't know. For some reason, when I take elderberries, it hurts my tummy. Aw, Jove, you're so nice. But yes, yeah, so I also found out about that. I hope we see Dr. Shunk. And another thing is that if you go in the museum, which I did during my demo, I didn't see anywhere for the gallery, which I'm like, oh no, like what about the gallery? What's gonna happen to Red? I love Red. He's, I mean, Red's a little sneaky, don't get me wrong, but I still like Red a lot and I like the art gallery. So what I'm thinking is that maybe, just maybe later on, you can unlock a separate art gallery that's not part of the museum, possibly. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I actually don't do SCP lockdown videos any longer. I moved to a different state, so I'm not in the same state as Caveman Films anymore. Hey, Bubbles, what's up? Oof. Oof, why'd you say oof? I'm sorry. If, if you were here for the SCP videos, I'm sorry. Honestly, guys, I had never played Minecraft until I started doing the SCP videos. Uh, Minecraft just wasn't really, like, my game, I guess. I think Minecraft is a really cool game, and I definitely enjoy it now, and I'm glad that I was able to learn how to play it. But I don't think that I, like, know enough about Minecraft. I don't think I'm good enough at Minecraft to be, like, a Minecraft YouTuber or a Minecraft content creator, you know? I gotta go, but thanks for a good chat. Of course, thanks, Sergeant. I hope you have a great night. Hey, Agriff, if I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry, but how is your day going? Hope you like some Animal Crossing. Where was he? Where was who? I died. No, why'd you die? Have you played Terraria? I think Terraria is a wonderful game. I really like it. I put that in the same category as I put, like, Undertale. I know they're not, like, similar, but in my brain they are. Oh, thank God she said what's up. I just... Nah. It's okie dokie. It's okie dokie. Where did he live? Um, I lived in North Carolina, and I just moved to Tennessee. So, I'm in Tennessee now. Not in North Carolina. Is... Oh, your dad's calling you on your iPad. Put it down. Why? I don't want to pick it up. But yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. Terraria is really awesome. I don't know. I love cutesy like indie games. Uh, I think it's really awesome. I think this one that I was talking about earlier, Chikori, I think that one's gonna be really awesome. I colored this myself, guys, because they're both like you colored in yourself. I don't, it's not gonna focus, is it? There we go. It's still not focused. I tried. I attempted. I'm in Tennessee. Oh my goodness. Same. Now your dad's FaceTiming me. Wait, and talk to your father. I'm busy burning my skin. I'm like, okay, I'm talk to him. No, bro. You want to talk to the whole family? This is half an hour. I'm okay. Talking, I'm not home. Don't make it Just tell him you're busy. I'm live streaming right now. That's all you get down. Tell him you're busy. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, my lordy. You tell him you're busy, but you're bothering me while you're streaming. You could have ignored it. You pick the okay. phone. Okay. You're you done now? Stop talking, please. That, okay. Busy. Can you not yell at me while I'm live streaming, please? Yeah. Appreciate it. I did. Chill. Yeah. North Carolina was the best back in 2012. You really think so? I. You must have been in different North Carolina parts than I was. I was in Western North Carolina. In Western North Carolina, there is nothing to do at all. My chat said, "Whoa, he better calm the attitude." <laughs> Thanks, chat. Yeah, I agree. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. His dad called. I just wanted his dad to be okay. I live by a Walmart, some golf course, Domino's place. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you find a really cool place to live. I definitely wasn't happy living in North Carolina, but I'm happy where I am now. Wow, I love the drawing. Oh, this one? Thanks. I, I just colored it in, but I'm still proud. <laughs> I'm in Memphis. Oh, that's awesome. I'm in I'm in Nashville, so Memphis is kind of far away. Yeah, I was mean. <laughs> hey, Jose, what's up? How
How are you doing? How has your day been? Spiky, you're chill? I'm glad you're chill. Have you been streaming a lot, Spiky? Have you uploaded yet? My entire chat is like, he is so mean. He needs to calm down. <laughs> you're mean. Another... Oh, one of my favorite new things that I noticed in packs about Animal Crossing is that we can make wreaths on our doors now. So you see a lot of door decorations and wreaths and stuff, and we can make our own wreaths just like we can make our little flower crowns. And I think that's a really awesome new thing. And I'm really excited to do that because everyone can have their own little personalized wreaths on their door, and it's just going to be so cute. And the doors, oh my goodness. I noticed in my demo as well as everyone else's, the doors are so cute. The entire house is on the outside are precious. Maybe I can visit you. Oh, that'd be awesome. I still love small, but dang. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. He's just having a bad day. It's okay. Yeah, his dad is really nice, though. But, so how was PAX? PAX was awesome. I love PAX so much. Guys, Bernie Sanders was staying at my hotel. It was really crazy. We were, um... We went to a Predator gaming party one night, and we were about to leave, and we were hanging out in the lobby, and our lobby was really cool because our hotel was nice. So there's this, like, almost like this giant living room off to the side, and there's, like, a fireplace and a lot of chairs and a couch and, like, games and stuff. Like, it was really neat. So we were hanging out over there, and we were about to leave for the party, and I was like, oh, no, wait, I need to go fix my lipstick. And so I walked across the lobby to this, like, one, like, big mirror that was, like, by the elevators. But I didn't want to fix my, my lipstick in front of people because, I don't know, like, I was shy and I felt like that'd be weird. So I waited for, like, no one to be around. And I was like, oh, okay, let me fix my lipstick. So I'm doing that. And then all of a sudden this guy, like, walks up behind me. And I was like, oh, who is that? Like, I thought I was by myself over here. And I turn around, and it's Bernie Sanders. And I was like, okay, like, on the lipstick, like, have on. I was like, hey, Bernie, what's up? It was, it was really crazy. He had, like... A bunch of security people but the security people were like behind him not like where i was because they were trying to like get people to skedaddle that were like coming in behind him and i was the only one over that and I was just like, what's up bernie yeah my mom said she can't breathe why what's wrong you should probably um call the local like authorities to help if it's like a serious Thing. Or maybe she's laughing really hard and can't breathe. That happens a lot. You, you get a lot of ha-has out and your lungs just can't keep up. But yeah, so there's a lot of awesome things at PAX. We, um, we also went to a really cool mixer party. Um, your friend met Biden. Really? Where? And the mixer party was really neat. We got to meet a lot of cool folks. I got to meet this one guy and he ran the Nintendo March store at PAX. And he said that he might send me some Nintendo merch. So I'm like, oh, no way! And I'm gonna do a giveaway for you guys soon. I have my little pin from PAX. I'm gonna be giving away two of the little pins and I'm probably gonna be ordering some Animal Crossing stickers. And I don't know what other Animal Crossing stuff you guys would like, just let me know. And I'll be sure to like get some good stuff for the giveaway and probably do that really soon. My cat's watching you with me. No way! That's awesome! Say hello to your kitty from me. Um, you should really call someone if there's actually an emergency. That would that would probably be good. My friend went to Boston and now she is coughing and can't breathe while I'm scared. It's coronavirus. <gasps> oh my Kelly, the entire time I was in Boston, I was terrified of the coronavirus because it started trending the second we got to Boston. There's people traveling everywhere who go to PAX and Sony pulled out of PAX East because of the coronavirus. So I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't going to end well. But we already had our tickets. We purchased our hotel room and everything. And I was like, so we got like masks. We wore masks um, on the second day. The first day wasn't that bad. Like the day I got my footage and everything, there's still like a lot of people there. But it was manageable. The second day, oh my goodness, I got to PAX 12 minutes after it opened. 12 minutes. And the line was already shut down for the demo for Animal Crossing. The line was already shut down to take pictures with the Animal Crossing characters. The line was already shut down for the Nintendo merch store. And the line was shut down to even get the pin. So everything was capped. So pretty much when the line gets too long, they have this person with a sign. And it's like, the line is capped. You can't even get in line. 
So then people would start lining up on the behind the whole thing, on the wall. So there'd be a huge line just to get in line once the line stops being capped. And it was just, it was crazy. There's so many people. What is the coronavirus? The coronavirus is just like this like illness that like is in China right now that people are scared of. Um, hey, do I have any mods in chat right now? Just gonna check and see. It's always good to have a good moderator hanging around when you're live streaming. But, um, yeah, so it was really crazy. We did go to some cool parties, though. We were gonna go to the adult swim party, but that was the day after we already headed back, so we headed back a day early. Um, just because there's not really a point in going back four days in a row. You can see everything in like a day or two. But the first day was really awesome. I really, really, really enjoyed the first day. That's when I did all my Animal Crossing stuff. The second day, I really just kind of like, I edited a video and I just hung out. And, um, I, we literally just like walked into packs. We were like, well, this is too much. And then we went to a seminar about how to be a YouTuber. Because Samoth thought it would be funny if we did that. But everyone on the YouTube panel... Had less subs than some all. <laughs> oh, it was funny. <laughs> but, yeah. My favorite Animal Crossing New Leaf hourly music, I prefer 1am myself. My favorite is 8pm. I really like 8pm a lot. But, good eye, or not good eye, good ear for, like, knowing that I was playing Animal Crossing New Leaf hourly music. I'm very proud of you. What you up to? Get out of the car. Oh, what do you gotta get? Like that. He's not in this country, though. I'm very confused. What time is it for you? Question for everyone. Right now, it is 8.12 for me. I'm in central time now. But, um, yeah, so it, it's a little later. I've all, I was always in Eastern Standard Time, but I just moved to Central, so it's been weird for me to get readjusted to being back in this time zone. Guys, look at this super cute picture of me and Tom Nook. Is that not... Ah! It's probably... You can't even see it. Ah! I want to focus, but... Oh, my goodness. I love Tom Nook so much. And I took a picture of him, and I was like, Hey, Tom, will you grab a shovel? You might have seen it from my recent video. But he held the shovel and I acted scared and I was like, oh, he's trying to, like, threaten me to get his bells. <laughs> You'll be mod? Ooh, thank you. Why is it not letting me mod? Oh my gosh. Yay! Thank you for being a moderator. I appreciate you so much. Gracie is so expensive. I know. Oh my goodness. He's asking like four million bells for a couch. I'm like, mm, girl, no thanks. My lord. Kelly or er, Gracie is the worst. I didn't get Gracie until actually really recently in New Leaf. I didn't even think she was in New Leaf for the longest until I upgraded enough. And I was like, oh, great. Now here's this overpriced giraffe again. <laughs> but I remember in City Folk, I would always go into her store and I'd be like, Dang, I really wish I could afford to get this furniture for my house. And then I don't think I ever got any furniture in um, City Vault from her. But I think I got some in New Leaf from her because I played New Leaf like there was no tomorrow. Thank you so much, um, Kiro Dev. I appreciate you so much. What is your favorite Animal Crossing game and what is your least favorite Animal Crossing game? Ooh, that's a tough one. Favorite is definitely New Leaf. Least favorite... If we're saying like mainline Animal Crossing game, I would say Wild World is my least favorite. But if you're allowed to say like Welcome Amiibo, then I would say, um, or not a Welcome Amiibo, Amiibo Party. That's the one that was like on the Wii U that wasn't a real game, right? That one I did not like. I played it like twice and I was like, this just makes me sad. I want a new Animal Crossing. I really thought we were going to get an Animal Crossing for the Wii U and I waited to buy a Wii U. Until we got an Animal Crossing for it. And that's why I never got a Wii U. Because it didn't, it didn't come out. They really, Nintendo really struggled with the Wii U. They didn't come out with a lot of good stuff that they should have. And they waited for um, Zelda Wii U to come out until the Switch was already out. So, 
No, you are the best. I appreciate you so much. But yeah, everybody else in chat, what was your favorite and least favorite Animal Crossing games? Um, I actually really liked Happy Home Designer, especially for it not to be a mainline Animal Crossing game. I was really surprised, but they did a really good job with that. And I really enjoyed making some like cute little places from it. But yeah, oh, I have not had enough water to drink today. Guys, but what all do you want to see in my little countdown to New Horizons um, that I'm doing the next few weeks? I want to do a lot of fun stuff. I feel like just doing Animal Crossing news every day. Like, oh guys, look, there is a screenshot from this place. There's a new trailer. Let's look at it and talk about it. I feel like that's not like the most exciting kind of content to make. So if there's any other like Animal Crossing related content that you guys can think of that you would like to see, I'd be super down. I was thinking of maybe like doing like ranking villagers or something one day and yeah. This is my favorite Animal Crossing game, New Leaf. New Leaf is very good. I love New Leaf. Getting to be the mayor was awesome. What do you guys think about the grave that we saw in the direct? I think that it's Tortimer or Wisp grave. Carrie, is your sister? Just kidding. <laughs> Dang, I'm actually an only child, so I don't have any sisters. I guess if you count like Samal's sisters. Ma has three sisters and I'm close with all of them. Aiden, what's up? How are you? News every day sounds like a great idea. Oh, you guys want news every day? I could definitely do that. I love every mainline Animal Crossing except Wild World. Yeah, Wild World just, I feel like they didn't put as much effort into Wild World as they put into previous ones. I play Pocket Camp every day, but it still doesn't give me joy like really Animal Crossing. I know, when I first started playing Wild World, or Pocket Camp, I was like, eh, I don't really like Pocket Camp that much. And then I got into it like a year after it came out and I was like, this is great. And I like poured money into it and everything. But then when I got my new phone, a few months ago, I had to get a new Apple ID because I didn't remember the password of my old Apple ID. And I lost my whole pocket camp and I don't want to start over. Oh wow guys, I just turned I just turned my flashlight on. That's the worst thing about like the iPhone 11 is it's so easy to accidentally turn your flashlight on. LOL, I also said it was Tortimer on Twitter. Oh my gosh, you thought it was Tortimer too? Oh, poor Tortimer. He did retire the last game. So it would make sense if, like, in the past seven years, something's happened to him. I'm sick today. No, I feel like everyone's sick in my chat. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope you all feel better. But, yeah, I, I'm going to try to think of some, like, really funny Animal Crossing stuff to do the next few days, though, so we can have a really awesome countdown. And then, I don't know if it'd be best to do, like, a live stream the second the game comes out for, like, episode one of me actually playing New Horizons, or if I should make an actual like video of it and post the actual video i could probably edit down the live stream and make it into a video your bells hand them over tom nook oh my gosh <laughs> that's great guys meeting tom nook in real life is the best it was so cute how about animal crossing song or animation reactions <gasps> Oh, Animal Crossing animation reactions. That's actually a really good idea. I love that. Favorite not Animal Crossing game. My my top three favorite games of all time are um, Halo 2, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Burnout 3. They're, they're, oh, they're all very good games. And then, let's see. I, I like pretty much all Nintendo games that I'm a big fan of. Like, I love Kirby games, Yoshi games. Mario games, um, all of that. I like um the ooh Luigi's Mansion games and non Nintendo games. I I do like a lot of first person shooter games. I'm a very like I like a very wide variety of games. But my favorite games like are always going to be like Animal Crossing games, Zelda games, and like Call of Duty and Halo. Like those will always be my four favorite like series of games. So, yeah, my, my game preference is all over the place. I'll probably do a video one day of, like, my top ten favorite games of all time. But my top three always, like, stay the same. But everything else kind of, like, changes. Yeah. But, I don't know. Like, Animal Crossing is just, like, it's different than other games, I guess. Because other games you play and you get, like, excited and you're like, oh, yeah, like, I just won. But Animal Crossing, it's like if you're sad and you play Animal Crossing, like nothing can make you feel better than playing Animal Crossing. It's like eating a pint of ice cream every time you play it. What's your favorite Mario game? Uh, Mario 64 DS. 
that is definitely my favorite Mario game. I love that game so much. That was one of my first games I got from my DS Lite, and it's really good. Do you like Kid Icarus or Mother? I've never played Mother, but I played the first Kid Icarus that came out for the 3DS, uh, because that was one of the few launch titles for it, so I like Kid Icarus games. What is Mother about? Is it good? My favorite is Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island. Ooh, Super Mario World is really good, and so is Yoshi's Island. I don't know, like, I just, I really love Nintendo games a lot. Did you guys like Odyssey? I, when I saw the um, trailer for Odyssey, at first I was like, this is weird, I don't know about this, because there was, like, actual people in it. But when I played the game, I was like, whoa, this is great! Like, I loved Odyssey so much! Um, did you play the new Call of Duty update with the zombies, and if you did, I'll watch the video and then come back. Wait! There's zombies on Modern Warfare now? Are you serious? I'll have to play that if there is. The last time I played um, Call of Duty was on Valentine's Day. I played Modern Warfare because they changed all of the like game type titles to like Valentine's Day themed ones and I thought it was funny. And then I played the, um, what do you call it? I played a lot on like Rust. I 1v1 people on Rust, that was fun. Oh yeah, I don't have any commands for my YouTube streams. I think it might be because I don't stream on YouTube that much. I thought Mario Odyssey was an actual masterpiece. Yes, my best friend got it for me for my birthday when I was like, um, 19? I think it was my 19th birthday. And I love that game so much. My favorite level was the one with the little, like, mermaids, you know? It was like World 2. Oh, Infected! Yes, I played Infected. I don't think I've done a video on it. I might live stream it on Twitch at some point. I don't do most of my live streams on here. Most of them are on Twitch. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch yet, I'm on there. I try to go live three times a week. But this past week, I haven't been live just because I've been in Boston um, for PAX. Hey, Leonardo. How's it going? How's your day? No, COD Mobile. Oh, COD Mobile. Not going to lie. I deleted COD Mobile very quickly. I played it for about a week. And then Modern Warfare came out. And I got rid of I didn't delete it, but I just didn't re-download it when I got my new phone. Because usually I have long nails on. And you cannot play mobile games like that with long nails. In my um, Call of Duty mobile video, I actually ended up grabbing a pair of scissors and like chopping my nails off. Because it just it doesn't work if you have big nails. I wish it did. Me too. They're making a new Treyarch game. And Treyarch is the studio that handles zombies for Call of Duty. Which means we're going to get a new zombies this year. Which is awesome. What ports do you want for Switch? I want Mother 3 and Wind Waker. <gasps> Wind Waker would be awesome. I would really like to get um, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. I feel like that is one that really needs to be remade. I would also like to see hmm, ooh, Twilight Princess HD. If that could just be ported over, that would be really awesome. Uh, I don't know what else would be good. I, is there Dead by Daylight on Switch? If not, I'd like that as well. I like Dead by Daylight a lot. Oh, can you play Dead by Daylight? Yes, I've actually done um, a few Dead by Daylight streams, and uh, my boyfriend and I play Dead by Daylight all the time. It is a really, really good game. I hated COD Mobile. It was so easy for me. My KD on there was 17. Like, 17? What? What? 17 is an insane KD. Hey, sorry, I'm late. It's okay, Chris. How's your night going? How are you? Uh, why are you ignoring me? Oh, I'm not ignoring you. I just talked about Dead by Daylight, and that's what you brought up. I'm sorry. But yes, Chris, what is up? How is it going? Chris, you're awesome, guys. Chris always comments on my videos, like, every single one. I don't think there's a single video Chris has not commented on. Are you excited for Candyman 2020? What is Candyman 2020? Is that a game or a movie? I have no idea. It sounds cool, though. Oh, guys, you know what my favorite to listen to is? Uh, whenever I'm studying, I will pull up Animal Crossing, and it's like Animal Crossing, like, Rainy Day remix. It's really, really awesome. I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing awesome. I'm having a super good day talking about Animal Crossing, which is my favorite thing to do. We are 18 days away, and I'm doing Countdown to Animal Crossing on my channel, so if anyone has any ideas of good stuff to do for Countdown to Animal Crossing, just let me know. Super, super excited. Oh, if any of you guys, do you guys know who um, Choi Plays Nintendo is? I was in a call with him yesterday, and he interviewed me. I think for, I'm not sure if it's going to be for his podcast or for like a video, but um, you guys should go follow him because I'm going to be 
on his channel pretty soon. That was exciting. I've been watching Choi plays Nintendo for a really long time. So when he messaged me and he was like, oh, I liked your pack stuff. We should do something. I was like, oh, yay. Oh, it's a horror movie? I love horror movies so much. Sama hates them. They scare him, but I love horror movies. I'll have to watch that. Is the trailer already out? I cried over an animation today. What animation was it? Who did? Who did what? What game do you like? Oh my goodness, Leonardo. I love so many games. I'm a big Animal Crossing fan and Nintendo fan. My um, content is really just Animal Crossing Nintendo. But I also like Call of Duty, um, Halo. Um, I play Fortnite. I used to hate Fortnite. Like, I did not like Fortnite. I made fun of Fortnite for the longest. And I was like, ew, Fortnite. Fortnite's gross. And then I started dating a Fortnite YouTuber and he made me play Fortnite. And I was like, whoa, I like this. I still don't really build that much, though. I usually just like play the game about building. But I can get some doves. Do you like Froggy Chair? I love Froggy Chair. Froggy Chair is one of my favorite memes. Hopefully there is Froggy Chair in New Horizons. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but if they don't have it, then they're making a huge mistake. So, hopefully they have it. What games do you guys like? Do you guys mostly stick to, like, Nintendo stuff? Or, I know I have a lot of Fortnite people on my channel just because I had some people come over from Samaz's um, channel. That's his play button back there. It's not mine. I'm not cool enough to have one. I always get comments in my videos and people are like, whoa, your play button. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not mine. I'm not cool enough. Sama big bot, not gonna lie. Sama is big bot. He's the, oh, he's not there anymore. He's the biggest bot around. What's your favorite new villager in New Horizons? I don't know what the name is, but the colorful hamster. Hold on, I'll, I'll pull up a picture and I'll show you guys. The colorful hamster is so cute, and I'm a big fan of hamster villagers because Apple is one of my favorites. Um, new villager, new her eyes. Let me find the picture and I will show you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. When Google Images doesn't help you, this is terrible. Where is it? I have it on my laptop, and I'm not on my laptop right now. This is terrible. Hold on, guys. Now I have to find it. Just because I can't find it, it makes me determined to find it. New, okay. Hamster villager. Where's the picture? Aha! Okay, I found it. I found it, guys. Don't you worry. Okay. That doesn't help. There we go. Okay, guys, right here. This little hamster right here. Oh my goodness. I love that one. It looks like cotton candy. It has the cutest eyes. Hamster villagers are already my favorite. And actually, they're not my favorite. I take that back. Deer villagers. I really like deer villagers. Hamsters are like my like top maybe like three favorite villagers. But ah, it's so cute. I love it. That's my favorite one. What is you guys' favorites? These are all the new villagers. So comment down below. We got red elephant, we got sheep, we have the cats, goat, we have Renee, and then we have a hamster. Hamster is definitely my favorite. Okay, I need to go back to I think it's this one. Yes, perfect. Alrighty. There we go. So that was my favorite new villager. Let me know what you guys' favorite is. Hamster is so cute. I also really like Renee. Renee's pretty awesome. Her name's a pun. And you should watch Candyman 1990. I think first, but don't watch the second and third for your own safety. Oh my gosh, are the second and third one scarier? Oh, so this one's just a remake. Okie dokie. I was number 24 in a Fortnite tournament, then I died. No! Okay, you guys want to hear some rage? This is how bad I rage. So, as I said, before we met Bernie Sanders, we were heading to the Predator party. The little Predator gaming party. So, we get to the party. Imagine this, like, huge nightclub. But it has, like, this giant screen of, like, video gameplay. And then it has, like, ten, like, gaming setups lined up on stage with, like, gamers, like, playing. I think it was, it was either Rainbow or CSGO. I don't play either, so I confused the two. But 
so the pro gamers are up there playing their games it's on like the huge screen but it's still like a nightclub so people are like partying really hard like there's a dj but they're also like gaming well they had these two like like nooks off to the side it was like rooms but it's still open to the main area and there's all these gaming laptops with fortnite on it and I was like, oh, I'll play Fortnite because I'm, I'm not a party person. I don't like parties. People make me nervous. So I was like, I'll just pretend like I'm at home playing video games. It'll be okay. So I go over and I'm like, oh, I'm playing Fortnite. But it was only keyboard and mouse. And I'm not a keyboard and mouse person. Like, even though I play on console, like, or on PC, I still use my little, like, Xbox controller. And I hook it up. But it was only keyboard and mouse. But I was like, okay, whatever. I'll play it. And so I'm sitting there. I'm playing keyboard and mouse. I'm doing my thing. And then, um... I get to like second place and I'm getting kills guys I got a few kills even though I've never really done keyboard and mouse before I'm building doing the whole nine yards and it gets down to a 1v1 it's me and this other guy and I have if you guys have seen my twitch stream you know it's my favorite gun I have my um burst I have my blue burst but I only have 10 bullets left I hit him with all the bullets and I hit him for critical like it, he was one shot and I run out of ammo on my burst and he kills me so i got second i have never raged harder in my life like i jumped i screamed i was so the guy that was working the party was like whoa that's the closest i've seen someone get all night and i was like <laughs> yeah wasn't that awful when i got second at the party he said uh-huh yeah he said if i didn't run out ammo i would have won dang like i would have been it's so hype if i had won let's see Looks like cotton candy. Yes, it does look like cotton candy. The goat and the cat. The cat looks really awesome. The cat's like very sleek and very neat. Neat. I hate Fortnite. I used to hate Fortnite. Now, sadly, I like it. I don't like Fortnite because of the toxic community and I don't like battle royales. You know, I'm not a big fan of battle royales either. I don't really know why I like Fortnite. I think I just like the skins maybe and being able to play with people because I don't like playing games for myself. Bob Biscuit, Muffy, Diana, Sherry. Uh, like a lot more. Oh, Sherry is one of my favorites as well. Oh my goodness. And Diana. Diana is so cute. You got, you gotta love your little dears. I really love those two. Those two are really awesome. Candyman 2 and the third are bad because, uh, never mind. Watch it if you want to. Ooh, I'm scared to watch it now. How do I get my boyfriend to stop eating raw hot sauce packets? How should Kelly get her boyfriend to stop eating raw hot sauce packets? How? Why does she care? How? Okay. How? Now I'm gonna eat the hot dog packets too. Dang it! Now you're having my boyfriend eat raw hot sauce packets. Why'd you do this? <laughs> no. Dang! I don't know how to help you. <laughs> Best question in chat so far, Kelly. I, Kelly, I would agree. There's no way to stop away from eating raw hot sauce packets. Dang it! <laughs> How's Stevie? Stevie is so good. He's such a cute boy. I miss him so much. Do you have another scary story that you've experienced? Oh, you mean like my uber scary story? Um, hmm. Okay, this happened at PAX. So, Kamal was like going to sleep early and I went down to back to our lobby where I said like there's this little like, um, like living room place off to the side with like a uh, fireplace and couches and so I sat on my couch I sat on a little couch by the fireplace I was like on my phone doing my thing it was like 3 a.m. and I go back to go back up to the hotel room and there's this guy that's standing by the elevators and he's like he's like hey what's going on cutie and I'm like hi I'm going to go up to my room now and like the elevator door was open like someone had tried to use the elevator but you have to use your key card once you're on the elevator to feel like activate it to go up so if you're not staying there you can't so it looked like someone had tried to use the elevator but they couldn't and so then he like kept talking to me and then he like got on the elevator behind me and i was like okay and i like i like slid my card and i pressed my floor number and i was like what floor are you on and he was like i don't have a floor i'm just gonna walk you back to where you're going and i was like Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so, um, pretty much I waited for the door to open on my floor and then I just didn't get off. I just stood in the elevator and looked at him and when the door started to close, I like ran out and then I sprinted 
back to my room and I opened it really quick and I closed the door really quick and I locked it and I like looked out the peep hole for like 20 minutes but I was okay and that wasn't a very exciting story but it was creepy and it was weird and that's that. And Trollstiv is still terminated. I know, I'm so sad. But he has a second channel and it's called Entrulsive HD, where he posts content, but he doesn't own the channel. I own the channel. It's really just my second channel with his stuff on it. I'll put it in the chat. There you go. Everybody go follow that. It's it's a good channel. He makes little skits. He makes ha-has. They're very good ha-has. You said Pearl Pepper walked into the hotel you were in. Can I tell them the story about the alarm? Are you sure? Mm. Okay. So. <laughs> so we were hanging out in the little living room area. We like to go to the little living room area downstairs. We were chilling. We were doing our thing. And then um, Pro Pepper called his mom and was like, hey. I'm gonna come over and hang out with you guys for a little bit, but then I have to go do something later. So we were like, oh, okay. But I needed to film my little Animal Crossing video that I posted, my like little 10 facts one. And so we went back up stairs to go to the room to like film the video. And so we're like walking over to the elevator and I'm like on my phone doing my thing and Samaga goes to press the elevator button, but all of a sudden sirens start going off and there's like emergency announcements and I was like what's going on and Samal so was like I don't I, I didn't mean to do that like I didn't that was that was an accident and I was like oh my gosh no that was you and so he just oh I, I did tell him that I had a boyfriend Job. it was it was a mess so Samal just gets back on the elevator and when we go upstairs and everything's like flashing and I'm like this isn't good and we get up to our room and we call down to like the main um, the main little, um, office, and we were like, hey, that was a false alarm, like, sorry about that, like, he was trying to use the elevator, but he accidentally pressed the fire alarm button, and they were like, hmm, I don't really feel like that was an accident, and we are like, well, it was an accident, like, there was no reason for us to want to do that, and so then we end up having to go back downstairs, Wow, there's literally like the fire department shows up, the police show up, ambulances show up. But then Pro Pepper calls back and he's like, I'm downstairs. Like, come downstairs and meet up with me. And so he walks up to the hotel and there's like ambulances and everything out front. And he's like, what's going on? And so we, we get down to the elevator and we see him in the lobby with like 500 people that had to evacuate because everybody had to evacuate the hotel. And he was like, what's going on? And I get off the elevator and I'm like, look at what Entrulsive did. <laughs> and that was, that was probably the highlight of my trip. Yeah, it was really funny though. It was an accident, but it was really funny. I miss when Entrosa was trolling on Fortnite. You should follow him on Twitch. He still plays Fortnite on Twitch. And it's, he's the best darn foot Fortnite player that this side of the Mississippi has ever seen. Right, Samal? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm going to leave off the stream on that story of setting off the fire alarm. And yes, the PAX is really um, eventful, very exciting. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it was really great. Thank you guys for hanging out, talking about Animal Crossing with me, and get excited for New Horizons, because I'm excited, and we're going to be doing a lot of stuff for it. Thank you guys so much, and have a good one!